In this short video, we're gonna check out these incredible AI tools that has the ability to not only just upscale the image, but also transform them into something way better than the original. As you can see there, we can upload low resolution image and it can turn it into something amazing. You can see this is the Marilyn Monroe uh, picture. So this is the original photo. It's kind of a black and white. And as you can see, the quality is not that great on the original one, but the upscaled version is really, really well done. Uh, kind of the light, the way it bounces off the face, um, the hair, just the quality of the skin, the makeup. I mean, you can see it has done a really good job of detailing this. Even the eyes, it changed the eyes from its original version, but it's kind of looking down to looking more towards the mirror, the teeth, the lips, like all of it, even the earrings, it changed the earrings. This is what I'm talking about when I say it's reimagining the picture and upscaling it to something different. The ear, you can tell on the original picture, um, it's kind of hidden behind the hair, but in the upscale version, you clearly see the ear, you can see the earrings, the hair over it, and again, just the overall quality of the picture um, has gone way, way better picture of Popeye it didn't do a good job of enhancing this this is the original picture the upscale it just kind of improved the quality but other than that it didn't really do much uh, but overall I think so the Lara Croft one I think this is where the difference between Kriya and Magnifique comes in here the this is the original picture obviously and this is the enhanced version um, it adds re really good details and the same thing on the body the face you can tell it has upscaled it the hair uh, I mean, it's incredible the fact that from this image, which looks like a cartoon, that it generated very real life, um, real life photo of, of, you know, the girl itself. So again, this is Creator AI. And if you click on the pricing here, it will take you to their pricing plan page. So the free one, it says free daily generation. But to be honest, I've been playing around. I mean, I've uploaded several pictures. I didn't get any kind of message that, oh, you ran out of tokens or anything like that. So uh, feel free to sign up for the free account and play around. It's, it's, I think it's really cool. And you can do your own like portraits. Magnific is very expensive. So their cheapest version is $39 a month. And then their regular is 99 per month, which is kind of crazy. But anyways, so for this one, I don't know, to be honest, I don't know how I ended up with this account. They didn't give, there's no option. As you can see, there's no option here to sign up for a free account. I had gone to just add my account just so I can see the pricing. And somehow they gave me a free account. So with like 25 tokens here. So I upscaled a few images is again, same thing. This is the one with God of War. So I, I gotta admit though, um, the Magnific one, it's, it is, the quality is a lot better. As you can see, just the way everything looks compared to Korea AI, it is a lot sharper, but this is very interesting. So this was the one that's, um, similar to Korea AI. Uh, so this is the original photo. This was with, uh, and you can see on the top here, this was done standard, creativity was three, and then the rest was zero. It's very similar to the Korea AI one. As far as the detail of the picture, the girl looks a little different in this one. Here's the interesting one. This, so I did the same picture, but this time I increased, hold on one second, let me zoom out here. So this time I increased the creativity, which is this one right here, to five and the HDR to two. So look what happened. First of all, the quality of the picture is different. Um, and then it added these like details to the face, like these kind of uh, brown dots, not sure why, but, but as you can see the details of the face is very, very different. And then also, and I don't know if you noticed, but on the right hand side here, I'm not sure what happened here, but it, but it added these, let me zoom out a little bit. There you go. So it changed it to pictures of Lara Croft, I guess one on top and the one on the bottom here, just laying down. So that's kind of weird. But then here too, um, it added another picture of Lara Croft kind of swinging with, I'm, I'm not sure what he, what she's holding. I don't know what is going on in here. Let me just zoom in a little bit. Yeah. It added another picture of her kind of looking down, coming out of the wall. And then also the right hand. Um, looks really weird. It's kind of like bulged out. But again, just that's, I think that's because I increased the creativity here. So the, the higher the creativity, I guess the more the hallucination is common. But overall, I think it's, it's very, very cool. So this is their main page and they have some really cool photos here. Go check it out. Um, they show kind of some of the sample images that they have. This one's very cool. The details of the feature of the face, even the creases, the different lines it adds the eyes, the beard, all of it, it's, it's done very well. 
This one's a good one too, so you can see the details of the motorbike here, some kind of a imagined AI motorbike here. You can see the different details that it adds as far as the sharpness of the pipes here. Um, it looks very, very cool. So nature and landscape, I think this does a good, really good job of upscaling the existing nature photo. So this is a picture of a house. So you can see kind of the details of the rocks, the plants, all of it looks a lot better, a lot more crisp, a lot sharp. So this one's a cool one too. So this is a picture of a uh, waterfall. As you can see, the enhanced version is way better. Um, the original picture kind of looks almost like a painting, but this one looks way more realistic. As you can see, the trees look a lot better. The water looks better. Um, so it does a really good job of enhancing nature photos for sure. So this is kind of the bottom of the picture where there's the river stream. As you can see the quality of the water, it looks way better. And the leaves over here, the way the water kind of bounces off the leaves so it's flowing there, it looks a lot cool. So this is the normal portrait of this girl. As you can see, it's incredible how much detail it adds. Uh, just the skin, the eye, uh, the lips, like overall, that's the texture of the skin is way more realistic. Um, same thing with the eyes and the eyebrows, just the shadows it adds, the hair. Um, it looks amazing. And then of course the <laughs> food food pictures look amazing too. Uh, there's another one on the bottom here. Um, so this is what I was talking about, the food. I mean, this looks amazing as far as the, the image quality. You can see the amount of details it adds. That looks delicious. <laughs> but, but overall it looks really cool. Yeah, I think it does a really good job with portraits food um, and then um, nature as well so all right well that's it uh, hopefully you guys found this helpful thanks for watching see you on the next one